Hello friends, welcome to Programming Concepts. My name is Amit and this is part 24 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this video, we will talk about small issue where our views don't refresh automatically after change even for static content. This is continuation to part 23, view discovery in ASP.NET Core MVC. So please watch it before proceeding to this one. I shared the link in the description. Let's get back to Visual Studio and this is the project which we are working on. I already deleted few views which we created in our last video for demo purpose. Alright, let's run the program. Now you can see data is coming from my index view. Let me change the static data and let's say add edit it at the end. Let me refresh the browser and you can see changes are not reflected in UI. It is a static content and ideally it should change, right? We'll see the reason why it is not changing. First see how to fix it. For that we need to add a NuGet package. So let's visit to NuGet package manager and in the browse section let's type microsoft.aspnetcore.mvc.razor.runtime compilation and let's add this package. Next, we need to modify our startup.cs class. Let's add add razor runtime compilation with add controller with view services. And let's run the program and see if everything is working as expected. Now let's change the message and let's type one and save the file and refresh the browser. And you can see the output is as expected. All right. Let's find out the reason why it is not available by default. Let me take you to the Microsoft website. And here you can see Razor files with uh, .cshtml extension are compiled at both build and publish time using Razor SDK. Runtime compilation may be optionally enabled by configuring the project. So Razor SDK take care of build and publish time compilation by default, but not at the runtime. Nothing specific in the documentation why it is not included by default. So let me tell you the couple of reasons why Microsoft Toad included this package by default. And the first one is project size. If Microsoft keeps on adding more packages, the default project size will unnecessarily grow. And the other reason is security. So security in a way that larger the default code base, the more likely an exploit will be found. On the surface, allowing on-site recompilation seems less secure. Also, as the current trend is CICD, continuous integration and continuous development, the feature is not commonly required. All right, so there is no point to include all these things by default. Alright, so that's it in this video. If you have any queries related to the content of this video, do ask me in comments. Till then, thanks for watching.